Do you want to know how I stay young and beautiful looking? Well, it's really quite simple. Essence of Gelfling. Don't ask any questions. Hey guys, Andy here. I just want to do a real quick tutorial because I kind of learned this effect last night. Um, and it's digital makeup and one of its most practical uses uh, seems to be, you know, making someone look a little bit younger, kind of a de-aging, which I don't think is a real word, but I just said it so it's a word now. So it's a de-aging effect. I'm going to do this in After Effects, but I wanted to try to do it without using the Mocha AE tracking side. It's a very powerful tool, yes, but I'm just sort of curious, could I do it without that? And I think I did. So this is a, a new composition from the one I did the effect in because I'm going to go a little bit quicker here because I just want to show you how you could do it. I'm sure this will translate into other programs like hit films. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Now, there are three spots I want to track. Okay, so at the start of this tutorial, I told you I was making multiple copies of the layer for each mask. And then when I got into it, I realized I was actually putting all the masks on one layer and they were working correctly. So you only need to make one copy of the layer. That'll make things a little bit simpler. But okay, the first thing I want to do is I want to go in here and I want to get this bag under my eye. So I make a quick mask there. And then we oh, get this to hold still. Okay, and then I just want to go in. I want to tell it to track the mask. And the one that worked best for me was position, scale, rotate, and skew. So we just track forward. And I'll kind of speed this part up because, well, it takes a little while. So let's do this. Okay, this is one thing that I did want to take a second to touch on because as you see, it jumps significantly between these frames. Now, the truth is, it does the same thing in uh, Mocha from time to time. The difference is, in Mocha, you can let the whole thing track, and then you can find where it got off frame. You can fix it with a keyframe at that moment, and it'll fix everything around it. If you're doing it like this, you really need to do that manually. So you do need to keep an eye on your tracking as it goes. But now that I've kind of fixed that, I'm going to track a couple of frames forward, make sure it kind of keeps where I want it, and then we'll go forward again. Okay, so that's the first mask and just sort of, you know, running through it. I suppose I could be a little bit more, you know, picky in how some of this, but truth is, that's not bad. Again, I'm going for the quick mass, not the, you know, extremely detailed, because I found that this is sort of a subtle effect to start with. I mean, you, yes, you can take decades off a person if you really know what you're doing. I'm going for more of a five to ten year look. Okay, so I want to do this again with this eye. So we'll just go ahead and skip over this part. Okay, now we've masked both eyes. And the only real downside of this is that you really got to like zoom in on yourself and see that, you know, you haven't had a good night's sleep in, you know, a long time. Because, you know, this is when I really notice the bags under my eyes. There's some a reason I limit how much I'm on camera some days. It would take a team of makeup artists to make it look like I had actually rested sometime this decade. All right, so now we want to go up here and kind of do the forehead. Uh, 
as I don't have too many wrinkles on my forehead, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. I'm just naturally beautiful, I know. Okay, this one got a little bit close to my eyebrow right in here. But again, this is the quick how-to, not the detailed how-to. So the way I'm going to fix that is actually to kind of lower the expansion a little bit. Let's go in here and just see what we're working with. So I'm just going to shrink that one part a little bit. Okay, now let's drop in here and feather each mask a little bit. Again, this is sort of a feather to taste for each eye. Uh, and of course, you know, you might want to do more than just these three spots. It depends on the subject and how much your time you're trying to erase from them. So I'm going to go a little bit heavier with the second one here, or this first one. And we just take a quick look. All right. Now, I know I said I was doing this without plugins, but I am sort of cheating, and I'm using the Video Copilot console plugin, so that way I can just type in what I'm looking for. In this case, I want Blur. For this, I've kind of enjoyed using Box Blur. It's worked well for me. Uh, let me just turn that up a little bit. And... That's probably a little bit higher up than I need, but we're, again, just sort of for a test. Now, next effect I want to add is grain mat or match grain. And here we want to, first off, I like doing just final. And we want to tell it that our source is the first file. I don't rename my layers often enough. That's a bad habit. Mask face. There. Okay. I'm still new with this. Um, all right, anyway, so we tell it to match the grain, and I'm going to shut these effects on and off so you can kind of see. So, first off, let's go ahead and turn that blur down a little bit. That's a little bit strong. Let's make it about 15, 14. That's good. So, let's first you turn this on and off. And it's really subtle, but then again, we're zoomed in like 200% right now. So let's also turn off the blur. And now let's go back to saying, you know, 100%. Let's try and uh, see if you can tell the difference. See? Hasn't slept well. Slept very well. Up till 4 a.m went to bed at a reasonable hour and woke up at a reasonable hour like an adult. The exact opposite of what I actually do. Huh? So anyway, again guys, that was the uh, the quick version of how to do this effect. And you can see that because we did the tracking, it stays with us. Again, it's actually very subtle. I mean, it's one of those you need to know what you're looking for. And, oop, oop, wow, I am, uh, sorry guys, I'm just feeling very self-conscious all of a sudden. I, I, I think I need to make some lifestyle changes. But that's my problem. Uh, guys, I hope this helped you out. You know, take this, improve upon it. If you can, you know, let me know how you've improved upon it, you know, and send it back to me so I can learn something new also. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I don't do too many tutorials, you know, because, again, there's lots of people like Andrew Kramer who have done fantastic jobs. This is just the one time when I saw that no one was really touching on it in the way I wanted to do it. So, if you enjoy it, cool. I hope you'll check out some of my other videos. They're mostly just whatever entertained me, but right now I've really been focusing on visual effects, and that's been a lot of fun. So anyway, check those things out. Uh, you know, like, comment. Wow, that's a lot of babbling. <laughs>
Maybe I'll trim some of this out. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll get better at doing tutorials if I actually keep doing things like this. Anyway, I'll check you later.